Well, we've been following a definitely fast becoming one of my favorite prides of lions. Good morning, our buddy us boy from Kenya. My name is Brentley Smith. I got eggsy in camera, and we got a lion in a tree. So one of the members of the Angama pride is up in the tree, and we've seen. And they're sorry, they're all quite hungry. So she's trying to find herself a meal at the moment. And isn't this just spectacular? Hello, Pressy. Now, she is gorgeous. And uh, the rest of the four females are disappearing just to the to the southeast of us. You can just see their backs. In the oh, wait, sorry, Eggs. She's going down. She's going down. That was my fault. Here we go. Here she comes down. And she's seen... What she's seen is that the other members of the pride disappearing. She doesn't want to be left behind. Off you go. Now, the cubs were with them, but you can't really see the cubs in this long grass. That's spectacular. And she's heading now. So down towards the Mara River floodplain, where we've been seeing them quite often. We're quite close to the escarpment at the moment. Now they are quite hungry. Uh, with seven little cubs to feed, it's, it's not surprising. Okay, we're going to have to try to catch up with them. Um, Let's go. Hold on. So I'm going to try to get back to a little road that runs down towards the main road where the lions are heading towards. Whoa! See, you got to be careful. There's some big holes about here. Okay, oh, one more bump. George says, I just love the landscape in the Mara. Indeed, George, it is absolutely spectacular. Uh, these vistas are just to die for. But I am hoping our lovely Angama Pride are going to be on the hunt this morning. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that baby buffalo down there later to check. But literally, as we came down the mountain, We're straight into lions, so <laughs> who's okay? Bit of a traffic jam about to happen, and just to make space. Buddy. Whoa, 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 don't reverse. <laughs> I thought he was going to reverse it to us for a second. VR Viking are wondering what are those trees? Well, the tree that we saw the lion in now is a shepherd's tree. Um, and they are, the lions seem to be their favorite climbing tree. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Can you see them, eggs? They crossed the road already. Hold on guys, hold on, we're getting there. Now, we're up along the escarpment here, and this is one of the areas we can off-road, but if they do cross the, cross the, the, the main road, uh, there's a lot of seeps and swamps there, and we're not gonna be able to follow them, but we will do our best. There's just so much water here, and the water just seeps through the ground, and you gotta be very careful when you're driving off-road. You gotta look at the different grass species, because you don't wanna just go, down into that mud which would be quite unpleasant and probably take to get unstuck from okay
Hi, Karen. Karen wonders if the grass can get taller than it is now. Uh, yes, it can, Karen. Uh, this hasn't been a particularly wet year, so sometimes the grass can be a bit taller. And it also, oh, hold on, it depends in what areas you go to. So there's some areas that I went through yesterday where the grass is much taller than here. Okay, we've got to go through some mud now. There we go, no problem. Okay, let's see if we can catch up with the... Oh, they've moved fast. You see them there, eggs, on top of the termite mound in the distance. So they have crossed the road already. Okay, let's have a quick look. Morning, Michael. Um, let me just get Zander in the right spot. You happy? Now, Michael. Oh, she's on the move again. Michael's wondering. Oh, she's heading straight towards an elephant. Um, what's the difference between the lions of the Mara and the lions of the Sabi Sands? Uh, well, Michael, I'd say probably on average the, the lions in the Mara are a little bit heavier, just because they are able to get um, a little bit more food and uh, there's more more game around now also i was oh they've both gone down now you've got one well done eggs oh, moving straight towards that elephant doug are there any roads down there yeah okay so there might be a road heading in that direction look there we go line past elephant isn't that cool There are quite a few elephants in this area. The elephant bulls seem to like this area. There's some big seeps. Sure, but these girls are walking fast. Here we go. You got the one on top of Termite Mount? Hi, Anna Marie. Anna Marie is wondering how many adult lionesses are in the Angama Pride. Well, Anna Marie, in this sort of, it's, it's split into two groups. Uh, there are four adult lionesses in this pride, seven cubs, and then a little bit further to sort of the east of us, uh, there's another three adult lionesses that are part of the Angama Pride, but they, they, they do sometimes not, well, they don't come together that often, but they are part of the same, same pride. You know, they're looking down towards the plains, hoping for some warthog, which it seems to be the Angama Pride's favorite food, while the wildebeest are not here. Well, I've left the cubs in the long grass somewhere. I'm not sure where. Oh, oh, banded mongoose. I think someone was asking yesterday about mongoose, but here we go. There's a big group of banded mongoose crossing the road. They're like a, like a wave. Oh, the stragglers, they don't like being left alone. <laughs> Off they go. Banded mongoose. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm just taking my binos and I'm, I'm having a look where the lions are looking. And we're trying to see, trying to see if there's any potential prey ahead. It doesn't look like it. And um, we've got to go explore some new areas now. So I think we're gonna, we'll probably try to follow back with these lines this afternoon. But while we go exploring, let's go to James, who's got a fungi.